recruiting thousands of returning staff or supporting our brilliant doctors and nurses. Whether it's millions of pounds or billions of pounds, whatever it needs, whatever it costs, we stand behind our NHS. And many more families are going to lose loved ones before their time. Much of the big uh, football events in Europe have been put on hold. That includes the uh, English Premier League and the Champions League as well. Ventilators are one of the key pieces of equipment critical care doctors use. They blow air into the lungs, keeping patients alive. The government has called on manufacturers to step up production of them for the NHS. We need people to start working from home where they possibly can. And you should avoid pubs, clubs, theatres and other such social venues. Wembley was supposed to be the centrepiece hosting the semi-finals and final of a tournament held across the continent for the very first time. But now Euro 2020 has become Euro 2021 and the national stadium is abandoned. After schools shut their gates from Friday afternoon, they will remain closed for most pupils, for the vast majority of pupils, until further notice. Cafes, pubs, bars and restaurants to close tonight as soon as they reasonably can and not to open tomorrow. Be responsible when you shop and think of others. Buying more than you need means that others may be left without and it is making life more difficult for those frontline workers such as our doctors and nurses and NHS support staff. What is wrong with people? Why would you want to be one of these morons? Seriously. Do you not understand what is happening in this country? Boris Johnson, for the last week, has just sent mixed message after mixed message after mixed message. I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. We hoped to get 250,000 volunteers over a few days. But I can tell you that in just 24 hours, 405,000 people have responded to the call. I've taken a test that has come out positive, so I am working from home. Three weeks for review, uh, two or three months to see whether we've really squashed it, um, but about three to six months, uh, ideally, and lots of uncertainty in that, but then to see uh, at which point we can actually get back to normal. And it is plausible that it could go further than that. Uh, we have, uh, just this evening I can tell you, uh, we have 20,000 NHS staff coming back uh, to the colours, doctors uh, and nurses. It's an, a most amazing thing. The government has admitted it has to go further and faster with its testing programme for coronavirus. It had to set a target of 25,000 tests a day, but so far only around 8,000 are being carried out. Tonight it emerged that a 13-year-old boy from Brixton in South London has died from the virus, Britain's youngest victim so far. The government warned that this invisible killer is the biggest threat our country has faced in decades and that worse is to come. NHS staff arriving today for drive-through COVID-19 testing, some with more success than others. A very public display following a barrage of criticism that the government has been too slow in, as they like to put it, ramping up the testing. According to the John Hopkins University, which has become a recognised source of information in this crisis, there are now more than a million confirmed cases worldwide, although the true number could be much higher. The global death toll has passed 50,000 people.